Hey guys, welcome to the application cache part section of chapter 5. And we're going to be talking about the new app cache feature of HTML5. And what it does really is it allows us to work on offline with offline web pages or web applications. Um, at this time, all browsers aside from IE, from Internet Explorer, can support app cache. And there's a lot of there's a lot of advantages of app cache, especially over the native browser cache system, the offlining web page system, which is very unreliable. Um, this has really stepped it up. And the advantages of application cache, obviously, browse web pages offline, um, but they load faster, and it's, it's a less load for the server because it's only, it's you're getting the pages locally, so it's faster and just better performance. And if for some reason you didn't have an internet connection, you could still browse your web page. Now, every if you want to use application cache, you have to have a manifest file, and this would go in your root directory, and it would just specify which files not not just files but images um, your CSS your JavaScript your HTML files you need to specify exactly what you want to be cached and what you want to be available when you, there's no internet connection um, and there's simple text files you can use different extensions for example we have this example dot app cache um, I actually like to use dot manifest but you can use whatever whatever's your, your preference and this is how you would call it you'd have to it would give it as an attribute to the HTML tag manifest and then just to the point to the file the manifest file and you could do it like this relative or you could do an absolute path with you know HTTP and then your website so and that should be on all the pages you want to cache and the manifest the manifest structure um, can be very very simple like this or it can be very complicated with um, multiple parts to it but this is the the minimum of what you would need this right here this cache manifest is required you need that and for this actual example what we're doing is we're caching the index page along with the style page so that we can see style when we look at the the page or if we didn't if we didn't include the CSS file we would only see just the HTML on a blank on a white page so you want to cache this the style file and the logo if you want your logo to show and then any JavaScripts and if this file if the manifest file fails then the entire cache process fa fails so um, if you're going to do this, make sure your manifests are in order and structured correctly. Now, serving the manifest, um, we would do this. It has to be a content type header of text slash cast manifest. And this is, you would do this in your .ht access file on your server. Um, so you would just add you'd add this line here and it'll serve all files with an extension of manifest or app cache whatever you choose for your your text file extension okay and as far as updating the cache the it'll, it'll all remain everything you cache will remain until either the user gets rid of it or the, the manifest has been modified or if you update the cache itself so yeah right so that's that I mean there's not too much more to explain here um, so let's what we're gonna do is create a page on our blue developer directory website that is gonna be accessible at all times um, we're not gonna cache the entire site we're gonna cache one page and its elements and It'll give us an idea on how to how this works.